Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, December 20th. Just as President Biden's unconstitutional vaccination mandates were being ripped up by the courts, authoritarian politicians, public health bureaucrats, and the mainstream media announced a new COVID variant to justify another round of lockdowns and restrictions. The things that didn't work last time would be a good idea to do again this time, they claim. For these authoritarians, the timing of Omicron's emergence was perfect. The variant was first discovered in South Africa, with the U.S. and European media running endless scare stories. Authoritarians and politicians used the manufactured fear to justify another attack on liberty. Europe shut down and became a virtual prison camp in Austria, Germany, and elsewhere. Citizens became non-persons without a vaccine passport. South African Health officials reported that the variant seemed to be more contagious, but far milder than previous variants, as usually happens with such viruses. But the lockdowners would not hear of it. From Boris Johnson in the UK to de Blasio in New York City, the variant was perfect cover for them. As to be expected, Fauci revealed to the emergence of the new variant warning of record deaths, for the unvaccinated. Similarly, President Biden warned that this would be a winter of death for the unvaccinated. But here's something that the media isn't reporting about the Omicron outbreaks. They are taking place among the fully vaccinated. Cornell University, with 97% of the campus fully vaccinated and a mask mandate, has announced that it would return to online only instruction after a massive COVID outbreak. Likewise, the National Football League has postponed several games this weekend due to COVID outbreaks, even though the league is virtually 100% vaccinated and the National Basketball Association, which is above 95% fully vaccinated, just announced that due to a surge in COVID cases, it too will postpone games. The vaccine is not working to prevent infection or transmission of the virus cases are raging in the states with the highest vaccine levels. Yet the experts continue to maintain the only thing that can stop the spread of Omicron is vaccines. More people are catching on that this makes no sense. If vaccines don't stop the spread, how can vaccines stop the spread? Meanwhile, South Africa, with one of the lowest rates of vaccination, has just announced that they are only seeing a tiny fraction of hospitalization with Omicrons compared to previous variants. South Africa's COVID response authority has written to the health authority recommending an end to containment efforts, contact tracing, and quarantines. Unvaccinated South Africa is ending COVID restrictions while the hyper-vaccinated North is locking down. Something doesn't add up. Fauci loves to say that to question him is to question science. But this has nothing to do with science. It's about power. Fauci, the political authoritarians, and the corrupt big pharma billionaires are trying to make a last stand desperate to push Omicron as a justification for further tyranny and profits. But actual science is not cooperating. Thanks for listening.